Welcome to another edition of The Week in Metal. This is for week 26, the week ending June 30th. This week, I checked out 26 new releases, and I'm going to talk about six. A lot of death metal this week. Not on purpose, just worked out that way. First up is Abhorrent Execration. Death, Doom, Despair demo. This is death metal. It's a two-piece from France. It's their second demo. Bass and drums only. All right. When I was looking for this, I accidentally listened to their first demo, thinking it was this one, because I didn't look at the title. I just saw it was a demo. I, I listened to it. Heavy, right? And it says right on the band camp page, no rhythm or lead guitar, only bass. Only bass is real. Heavy, heavy stuff. So I realized when I was typing up my notes, oh, that's the wrong demo. So I listened to this, this one. And it's heavy. It's just super heavy. It's fast. It's what I wrote. Fast and super heavy. Slows down from time to time, but it's mostly just balls to the wall brutality what I wrote. Very low guttural vocals. Maybe not for everyone, but highly recommended for everyone else. Yeah, it's super heavy and it's good. Next up is Coffin Mulch Spectral Intercession. This is, again, death metal. Four piece from Scotland. This is their debut full length. They got a lot of buzz. They released an EP, Septic Funeral. You've probably seen the cover if you've not listened to it. Released that EP in 2021. Got some buzz, I think. Seemed like I saw that cover a lot. But full length, it's really good. HM2 powered death metal. You know, they get compared to Early Entombed a lot, I've heard. Very accessible album. If you're the kind of person that likes some death metal, but not all death metal, check this one out. See what you think. I should have mentioned Coffin Mulch. Put it back up. Coffin Mulch is out on Gurgling Gore. So go to Gurgling Gore, buy you a copy. Next up, Grotesqueries, Vile Crematory. This is a five-piece from Boston. This is their first full-length after releasing an EP last year. Seven tracks, just a hair over 40 minutes. Not quite as polished as Coffin Mulch. A little bit more underground. Often has a heavy underground vibe. More underground. Not that Coffin Mulch is mainstream or anything, but this is just a little more underground than Coffin Mulch. So... It's out on Caligari Records, you know, tape and CD, I believe. It's worth picking up. It's a good one if you like death metal. Next up is Static Abyss, Aborted from Reality. Now, this is Death Doom. Two-piece project featuring Greg Wilkinson and Chris Riefert from Autopsy, of course. It's Death Doom. And I'll be honest, it was a little too doomy for me. I listened to the whole thing, kind of felt obligated to talk about it, because I didn't turn it off. It was good enough to listen to till the very end. But when it was over, I was like, it's a little too doomy for me. So I probably won't check it out again. However, it's good if you like doomy death metal. If you don't mind it, the slow parts, check this out, because... If it wasn't so doomy, I'd dig it. That's just me. That's a me thing, right? So yeah, Static Abyss, Aborted from Reality, another Chris Reefert side project that I'm recommending. <clears throat> Next up is Hellforcer, Under the Goat Commands demo. This is a three-piece. This is Blackened Speed Metal. So we'll get off the death metal for a while. Blackened Speed Metal. Three-piece from Columbia. 
I wrote down a South American take on old school black and speed metal from the 80s, and it's really good. Production is pretty dirty, like bad, right? And it even says, uh, the Bandcamp page says, it was mastered by a drunk idiot in a shitty studio. So, yeah, you get used to it. But here's the thing. They're, they're getting ready to release a full length. And if they could get some good production on that full length, this is really good, I thought, for what it is. You know, if you like that style, like your black and speed metal from the old days, it was really good. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to their full length. Hellforcer, Under the Goat Commands demo. Last up, some more death metal. <clears throat> this is a Vulst Extraterrestrial Carnage EP. Five piece from Spain, active since 91. They've released seven full length albums, as well as a handful of EPs. I've never listened to them before. Heard of them, heard the name. I've seen some of the album covers. And when I look at the album covers, I'm terrible at judging things by their cover. And some of their past album covers, I look at them and I'm like, yeah, pass. I'll pass. You know, I'm, I'm picturing in my mind what they sound like based on their album cover. And I was picturing like some really awful, brutal death metal. That's what I thought of Vulst was was just really terrible, brutal death metal, you know, with cricket vocals and then that, you know, you know, drum beat, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But no, they, they've they got like a lot more in common with a band like Cannibal Corpse than any of that stuff. Based on this EP, this is my first time listening to a Vols 2 songs, you know, and I, I dug the two songs, I listened to it, listen to it again so if you're a fan of a Vulst tell me your favorite album in the comments because I'm going to start listening to some more of Vulst and just see what I've been missing because this new EP I liked so yeah death metal of Vulst so that's all I've got to recommend thank you for watching please like and subscribe please like and subscribe thanks see you next time it's halfway point of the year so i thought i thought i'd do like a year so far kind of thing so that this is not going to be good no this year i checked out 633 new releases so far and i've recommended 142 things now let me explain i don't know if i've ever really explained but i've been doing this for six months let's talk about it I have a list off the internet of new releases, and it lists everything, everything, right? It's the Metal Archives. They have a new release list. I go through, and I certain genres, I just go look at the genres. I skip certain things. Brutal Death Metal, I skip. But I check out Gore Grind. Go figure. I, I skip most melodic stuff or symphonic stuff, you know. I check out death metal and thrash metal and crossover. And for some reason, I skip a lot of black metal because there's a lot of black metal that comes out. I've been checking out a lot of raw black metal, and I'm liking some of it. So... I'll start listening to some of these things. That's why I can check out, you know, 633 things in six months. Because I'll start checking something out. I'll listen to it. I got headphones on. I'm listening. And there's stuff that I listen to that I'm like, I cannot listen to this crap. And I turn it off right away. 
right? Good example, just this week. I'm not gonna, I, I won't say the names, but there was a three-way gore grind split that came out this week. And I turned it, I, I went to the first band with my headphones and I hit play. And it started. And it was awful, right? Unlistenable, you know? So usually I start typing up, I copy and paste from the Bandcamp page and I paste it into my notes. And I, I, I had to turn it off. You know, while I was doing that, because it was so terrible, I just couldn't concentrate. So it's a three way split. So I went to the next band, and it was the same. You know, it was terrible. So I turned it, I, I didn't listen to the third, because it's, it's gore grind. And it's not like, well, this song was terrible, but maybe it'll change. And no, it's going to be the same. It's going to be the same. You know, so yeah, when I say check out, things get checked out, some things more than others. Some stuff I listen to 30 seconds and I'm like, this is such trash, I can't listen to it, you know. And then other stuff, I'm like, yeah, this is, it's all right. But about halfway through, I'm like, I'm, I'm done. I don't want to listen to this anymore. I want to listen to something else. I'm done. So yeah, those are the things that get posted on my things I passed on. And I post these on my blog, just in case you're interested, kind of show my work kind of thing. Because just because I didn't like it doesn't mean it's not good. You know, it just means I didn't like it. Right? So, so that kind of a dilemma. Because about a third of these things on my list are digital only. And they're name your own price. I don't know how much to give. I would like to give a dollar a song. That seems fair, I think. But on the other hand, it's name your own price. And I could just give each one a buck, I think, you know, and get them all. Or I could give them more money and just get some now and maybe some down the road. I don't know. You know, I don't know what's fair. I don't want to seem like a cheapskate. You know, I don't mind paying. You know, I'm just, I don't want to pay too little. It's like the, the risk of looking like a cheapskate for only giving a couple bucks for like a four song demo you know it's keeping me from giving them anything at all so i don't know let let me know am i being an idiot you know sometimes i drink too much and i worry about things but yeah i, I would like to go through and buy all these name it name your own price for you know a couple bucks a piece but it seems like i'd be being a cheapskate might do a separate list for raw black metal Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it's it's only July. I don't know what I'm going to do at the end of the year. I might be dead. Speaking of that, I'm going to film a video. I worry about dropping dead of a heart attack just because of my health. You know, I'm, I'm fat. I don't exercise. I drink way too much. And I eat cheeseburgers every other day, you know. So I just fear that I'm at that age where I'm going to drop dead. So I'm going to film a video, I think. Like, if you're watching this, I'm dead kind of video. And I've already talked with my nephew, and he agreed to upload it. You know, the end will title the video, if I die. That's only if I die. So yeah, I'm going to film a, if you're watching this, I'm dead. It's just unload, because nobody will see it unless I'm dead. You know, give my opinion. I'll give my opinion on controversial shit. How about that? You know scorched earth because i'm dead who gives a fuck uh cronenberg that was a good album i remember uh might order I, i'm definitely gonna order there's the plan this this is I'll, I'll, I'll wrap up this is rambling bullshit two bands real quick real quick i got two bands with the same name in my my list here you know so i'm gonna do a weird it's gonna be a weird end of the year video you know we'll see now i forgot what i was gonna i was gonna wrap up and and i forgot fuck jesus christ cave grave i remember being good 
So yeah, just, you know, talk about fireworks. It's the 4th of July. I've officially reached the age where fireworks annoy the hell out of me. It's like, give it up. You know, loved fireworks when I was a child. Growing up here in Illinois, couldn't buy them. You can go across the river or whatever, but couldn't buy them here. My brother at the time lived in Wyoming, and he would mail me boxes, big boxes, where he could buy whatever he wanted in Wyoming, right? And he would just mail them. He'd fill up a box with fireworks, and he would tape it up and write my address on it and take it to the post office and mail it. And when they said, is there anything flammable, explosive, whatever, I guarantee you, he said no, right? It was the 80s, right? Things were different in the 80s. He would mail me boxes of fireworks through the mail. And I was like, I don't know, how old are you when you're into fireworks? Right on the verge of being a teenager, I guess. I would open up these boxes and they were just full of fireworks, like the real things, you know, black cat firecrackers and and bottle rockets and, you know, Roman candles and, you know, not just like all we can buy here in Illinois is like sparklers and smoke bombs, you know. You know what? Those little snake things were cool. Remember those little pellets and you light them and, shh, and it turns into a snake? That was cool. Puked the next morning. So, yeah, it was a good night. So, I'm going to wrap up. I don't even know if this is usable. Long, rambling nonsense. But, yeah. 